Before we get started on the massive construction of our Happy Dale site, let's talk about the plan. Hmm? Got to have a plan. Go into Originals, and if you have Adobe Illustrator, you can open this up. It's not really necessary, but I thought I'd give it to you. If I double-click on Sitemap, it'll open in Adobe Illustrator, and there is my very pretty representation of our site. Now, if I'm showing this to a client, this is kind of what they see. If I'm not showing it to a client, it's on a piece of paper. It's scribbled. It's got coffee stains on it, crude-looking rectangles, and lines connecting everything together. It doesn't have to be this neat, but it's giving me a visual of what I think the site is going to be. doesn't mean I'm not going to change everything, but at least it's a start. I know I need facility pages, staff pages, about gallery contact, and an index page. Now, index.html is important because most sites require that the index page or the home page be called index. But the others I've got names down here tentative right now. Facilities, staff, about, gallery, contact, you get the idea. It's also helping me kind of get a general idea on how everything is connected together. We have a rule in web design called the three-click rule. And what that really presupposes is this. If you understand the site's navigation, and that's a big if, to be honest with you, but if you understand that navigational system, you should be able to get to any page you want to in three clicks, three-click rule. And this can kind of help me decide if I'm maybe programming myself into a corner, getting an idea of what it's going to look like. So this is Sitemap AI. Let's get out of here. Let's go back into Dreamweaver. Now, you have a new folder in Originals called Text. And if you open that up, there's one called Staff and there's one called Worksheet. Now, that's an RTF file, so everybody should be able to open it by double-clicking, and it will open it up in whatever you've got. I start writing all this stuff down. Now, I'll print this out so I have it, or I'll just put it on a piece of paper. We have an index page. Facilities pages will be numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, staff 1, 2, 3. You get it. I'm starting to name these things. I can then begin building the pages before I populate them with anything by using the templates and then making the pages based on those names. I could even connect all my indexing together and try it out again before I put anything on the pages because we have the templates. So all of this work basically does help you put the site together. If you do this, you're going to save time. You're going to save energy. You're going to save money because you kind of know the direction that you're going in. And like I said in the previous chapter, what I really want to do here is not make some kind of perfect site where I never make a mistake. So you never know how to troubleshoot a site. We're going to go through the process as I do it. And if I make a mistake, I make a mistake. We'll talk about how you correct that. Now let's do one thing. I see one more thing that I need based on what I'm looking at. I need another template. So let's do this while we're here. Let me get out of here. Back in the site. Let me go ahead and close out this stuff for now. We have right now actually three templates. We have our main heading, which doesn't have anything on it but the heading. But we have main body, this one here, and we have main body with images. Those are the ones that we have. I'm going to close this one down. This one, and I love going split here so we can see what we're doing. This one down here underneath the section for the heading, we have that second section right here. And inside this second section, we have a header, and we have an article. Now, that's all right, because that means I can conform the content article with an ID and have it, you know, do whatever we want. But then I'm stuck to always using that same article over and over again. So actually what I want is I want one more template that has this in it, the content ID up here, and it has the footer, but it doesn't have the article. And that will allow me to add anything to that body area that I want. That's all I want to do. So the easiest way to do this is stick right where we are. And let's go ahead and go here. And here's the article. That's what I want to get rid of right here. So I'm going to come over here and select it over here. Just like that. And you can see it's selected it here. And just press the delete key. That's the backspace key in Windows, delete on a Mac. And there you go. It's gone. I'm going to leave that space because then I can identify it when I'm using it, you know, where I need to put things. So that's basically what we need here. And let's go ahead and save as. And let's call this one main body generic. Just like that. Click save. Okay, close both of these out. We don't need them open now. And there you go. We got our plan. We printed out our documents so we can see what we've got. We made another template based on what we saw. 
We are now ready to start construction of the site.